A global market offers a world of opportunity, but varying laws and regulations from different countries and international organizations that govern every aspect of commerce can make international trade difficult to navigate. In Shirk v. Alberto Culver Company, we'll explore whether arbitration clauses in foreign contracts are enforceable, even if they're not consistent with United States law. American company Alberto Culver manufactured toiletries and hair products. In 1969, Alberto Culver signed a contract in Austria to purchase a European cosmetic goods business and trademarks from Fritz Schirk, a German citizen living in Switzerland. Although the contract indicated that Illinois law would govern the agreement itself, it included an arbitration clause stating that all disputes arising out of the contract would be arbitrated in the International Chamber of Commerce in Paris. In the contract, Shirk warranted and guaranteed the sole and unencumbered ownership of the trademarks. However, the following year, Alberto Culver discovered the trademark rights were substantially encumbered to the point that others may have had superior rights to Alberto Culver, potentially precluding Alberto Culver from using the trademarks. In response, Alberto Culver returned Shirk's property and offered to rescind the contract. After Shirk refused to accept the rescission, Alberto Culver sued Shirk in a United States federal district court in Illinois for fraud in violation of the Securities Exchange Act of 1934. Shirk moved to dismiss for lack of personal and subject matter jurisdiction or, alternatively, to stay the action for arbitration in Paris. Alberto Culver opposed and sought a preliminary injunction preventing arbitration. Finding arbitration agreements didn't apply to violations of the Securities Exchange Act, the district court ruled for Alberto Culver and issued a preliminary order preventing Shirk from proceeding with arbitration. Shirk appealed to the Seventh Circuit, which affirmed. The United States Supreme Court granted Shirk's petition for cert.